Hey, it's Bob Hilberg, author of Total Patriots, the book that every Patriots fan should know and should have, should study, should absorb and just relive all the moments. We're here at Harvard Stadium talking about Bob Gladjo. And this is an article that was written December 3rd, 1971, about the guys that played on the special teams, kickoff and punt returns, but primarily kickoff teams. And there's a little section here about Bob Gladjo. And we're at Harvard Stadium. This is a game that Bob Gladjo talked his way into the stadium, didn't have a ticket, but the program guy said, I see a picture in the program, gets into the stadium, sees his buddy, his buddy says, go buy a beer, but in the meantime, Billy Sullivan gets on the intercom and says, if Bob Gladjo's in the stands, please report to the locker room. Bob Gladjo goes down there and says, what's up? He says, well, we just cut two guys. We got a guy coming from Milton, John Outlaw, to replace one of them. If you want to sign up and be on a team, sign the contract, put your uniform on, you're on the kickoff team, and you're on the suicide squad. Bob Gladjo says, glad to do it. Signs up. Gets out in the field, and in the opening play of the opening game, he tackles Jake Scott in the opening kickoff against the game against the Miami Dolphins, which is Don Shula's first game as head coach of the Miami Dolphins. The Patriots won 27-14. Ron Berger had three sacks, was the NFL Defensive Player of the Week. Patriots sacked Bob Eason seven times. Jim Nance and Gary, uh, Kyle Garrett had 89 and 88 yards, respectively, rushing. And they shut down Larry Zunker and Jim Kick, who only had 49 and 28 yards rushing. Marty Schottenheimer, the quarter linebacker of the Patriots, didn't play in this game, but he played for the Patriots in 69 and 70. That's this day in Patriots history from Harvard Stadium.